<laughs> What's good, everybody? Hey, man. What's up? Yeah, we well, got down, bro. B once again. Once again, we back at it with another one. Back at it with another video. How you guys doing today? Well, you know, we gotta start off by you know, knowing how you guys are doing today. You guys good? Comment, mm -hmm. comment it down below, man. How you doing, me, bro? It's a gloomy, cold day, bro. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it look outside, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel like it look outside? Yeah. It is gloomy, man. We're in this season, bro. It's windy outside, cold as hell. Yeah. My mood switches like the weather, bro. So you just want to see home and just yeah, bro. stay in bed and watch some yeah. Netflix. <laughs> but I got up and came up here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so man. I'm here. Nah. Grind never stops. I, you know, right. I, always, I get up. I get up every day. Yeah. I don't gotta be here, but I, I get up and push myself to be here every day, Monday through Friday. That's what you gotta do, man. It's all about pushing yourself. Talking about pushing yourself, man, and that's a good segue to go into the topic. Right? right. Talking about pushing yourself. Today's topic. What we talking about, man? The two the two piece. piece, man. The two P's, and that is productivity, productivity and, and procrastination. procrastination. And no, that's the shit that rules the nation. You man, know. productivity and procrastination. Those are two big topics, man. Yeah. So for one thing that I know for sure, man, we're all humans. Mm -hmm. And I know for sure everybody uh, goes through that. Everybody experiences that. Yeah. You know, procrastination. That's a big ass thing, man. Whoever you are out there, man, an artist, whatever you do, man, there's, there's some type of procrastination that hits you somewhere or another, you know? Mm -hmm. And, man. So that's what we're talking about today, productivity and procrastination, man. What do you think about productivity, bro? Well, I think about productivity. Yeah. What's productivity, of course? For the people who don't know what that is. Productivity is basically just being able to produce, you yeah. know. So it's basically, you know what I'm saying, just putting the effort forward to, you know, accumulate or to put something in place to work for you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's like whether you're doing a t-shirt, that could be your product, which you got to put into production. Yeah. Uh, whether you're working at Pizza Hut making pizza, you got to put the toppings on the pizza. That's production. That's yes. what you got to produce. It's prepping, basically. Yeah. So production is prepping. That's the necessary steps to get you to being able to produce something so that it can go on to be successful you later on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's productivity. Man, <clears throat> so procrastination, procrastination, I'm sure everybody knows what procrastination is, you know, you just, know. You just know, pro procrastination, man, it's just when you're not able to, you know, uh, produce, you're just lazy, uh, you feel lazy, you know, you feel unmotivated, you feel like, you know, you don't got no type of motivation to do anything, you just want to lay down and do nothing, basically, mm -hmm. that's procrastination, the procrastination, like what I'm feeling today. Mm, man. I'm feeling like them, I'm some procrastination shit. Right. The weather, man. <laughs> like I just, you know, I'm here, but I'm not here fully, you know what I mean? So this topic here is something that we came up with off the whim. Mm -hmm. It's something B brought up. It's actually a topic I hate. I'm going to be real with y'all. Mm. Because, you know, we all, like B said, we all kind of got it in us. We yeah. can find ourselves falling into procrastinating to whether it's getting lost in your phone on Instagram, social media, YouTube. You know, we always find something or getting distracted by family, friends, you know. Sometimes people might want to come over, go to the club, but nobody want to get together and do anything productive. We can always come together for the bullshit, but we can never come together for the productivity of the village, of the people, that hand, of mm -hmm. everybody involved, right? Yeah. So, when it comes down to this topic, the reason why I said what I said, it's uh, more like, this is what we see firsthand each and every day. And the main thing is we got to learn focus. We got to learn how to basically hop the hurdles, disregard certain things that don't serve us no purpose. Mm -hmm. And that's a big thing to do. You know, like, it takes people to become damn near Buddhist monks and nuns to learn focus and, you know, surrender to the worldly possessions and worldly things that we normally fall to the wayside yeah, yeah. and be distracted by. So, that yeah. Was, that was the next question. How, how to be productive, man. You know, how to be productive. Um, 
there's many ways to be productive but we all know for you to be productive you need some type of energy you need to be you know in your groove and mm -hmm. how to how to have that man uh, first thing that came to my mind but what, what, what brings people energy the types, of, the types of food you eat Ooh, the types out. of food you eat is really important man anything you put in your body your body gotta process that shit you eat a bunch of pizzas from lunch lunch yeah. and dinner you're gonna wake up feeling shitty that's one yeah. thing to have yeah. you the food to have yeah. you you're gonna feel yeah. so yeah one thing that comes with that how to be productive you gotta watch your energy man and you gotta do things that uplift your energy yeah. and in that way you're gonna be able to you know have energy to do things that you want to do some of us might got a fast metabolism to where we can consume things fast, right? Yes, but sir. you got to also be willing to work it out fast, too. So if you have a big hearty breakfast, a big hearty meal, then also you got to put in a big hearty workout. Yeah. So that's even for me. And that's me speaking for myself and to myself as well. As I, you know, get ready to get back into the gym, you know. Yes, my physique shows the stature in nature, but I know when I need to tune my body back up. And that in tuning your body back up is something that helps your mental get right that also helps you learn to focus because yeah. once you start you know depleting certain things and, and sweating toxins out of your system and body yeah. it, it, it lets your mind be able to get the fresh oxygen blood levels flowing correctly so you can think positive you know so it has a lot to do with your blood levels it has a lot to do with the toxins inside of you because yeah. if you don't sweat these things are just sitting things inside of you. you. If right. you don't stretch, your blood, that's how like your blood clots. You're not working out. You got to move your fingers, whether it's pressing the little, um, who has some clamp things, yeah. the weight clamps are, yeah. or lifting weights, getting on a treadmill, climbing mm -hmm. stairs, you know. All these things can help. The bikes, the bicycles, riding them at the gym, loosening your legs up, your arms, legs, stretching. Everything needs to be released, especially your blood system. Yes, sir. And I agree with that, man. <clears throat> and you know, uh, we all have we all have these, you know, periods where we're productive, and then, you know, periods where we get, you know, we start procrastinating. Procrastination, man, that's a little devil, man. It it sneaks up on you. You never know. It just sneaks up on you slowly, man. You you can never tell when it's sneaking up on you. So, um, for you to be productive, man, you gotta you gotta um keep your energies flowing. Since you you gotta find things that give you energy, right? whether that's working out, uh, mm -hmm. whether that's meditating. And we're going to get into meditation too, that's a big topic, we're going to talk about it. But whether that's meditating and uh, you got to find things that just uplift your energy and to keep that flowing, you got to have a routine. You got to give those things time. You got to set time aside to do those things that give you energy. Mm -hmm. So let's say going to the gym. You know you got to go to the gym if you want to be healthy, you want to be you know, active and you know, running. And for you to stay, for you to stay in that flow, you gotta make it a routine. Set time aside for going to the gym. Whether that's one hour or two hours, be like every day, not every day necessarily, but like certain days that you can go to the gym, six to seven, that's a.m. or p.m. You know that's time set aside for your gym and nothing is gonna interfere with that. And you know, that, that's something, have a routine for things that you know are gonna uplift your energy and that's gonna prevent, you know, the procrastination from creeping in, I'd say. What you think about that? I would definitely. Yeah. That's one of the ways, you know, uh, to keep your procrastinating levels down. Uh -huh. Also, uh, the places and the people you hang around and go. Yeah. You know, if you're in the, you know, and that's no disrespect on, it's always, and it's not always about the hood neither, because the suburbs, it don't matter. Every place got it. Yeah. Uh, it's about the people and the mentality that they have. Certain ways people was raised, you know, would probably don't, you know, coincide with the way you were raised. So mm -hmm. it might be something that kind of derails you off track at times because you're trying to be a good person and help other people. But sometimes in the midst of doing certain things, you can also be losing your purpose, forgetting about your mission, you know, because you're so busy running behind others, chasing after friends, family members, and then now your psyche is, you know, derailed by what you need to be doing for yourself. So that's another way mental health and things break down to where we procrastinate because this a lot of this overall has to deal with mental health. And mental health has a lot to do with the 
um, oxygen levels, you know, blood levels and streams, you know, keeping these things intact because when your blood stream is flowing correctly, mm -hmm. um, your brain can think better because the oxygen is getting through to your brain for your blood to flow right, mm -hmm. for you to think right so you can be productive. But if your mind is stagnant due to the fact you're just sitting around consuming, you know, these big meals, not working out, then um, it's going to be that way for you basically, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So a lot of that falls hand in hand. It's like your yeah, catch-22. You know, it might be about, it's about the foods, it's about the working out, and it's also about the places and the people you choose to hang with. You want better, you do better. Like I said, if you know better, you do better. So that's a big play in everything. A lot of progression comes from the things you put in your system, whether people, foods, mm -hmm. Anything that's unhealthy for you is going to give you negative results. Mm -hmm. Anything that's positive for you is going to give you positive results. Mm -hmm. Point blank period. You ready for what you saw? Yeah. Yeah. So we just talked about how to be productive, man. Yeah. So what if somebody is in a case, somebody is in a case where they're procrastinating. They're already in there, they're procrastinating, and they're trying to get out of it, you know, mm -hmm. that the guys and become productive. Yeah. What would you say? Well, I bet, I know you go through this too, man. This is the period where you procrastinate, right? Mm -hmm. What do you do to get out of it? What do you do to wake up from that? I haven't mastered that yet. No. I can say that, no. honestly, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but per se, I'll say it takes time because for me, mm -hmm. I know I have a short fuse of temperament, right? Mm -hmm. I have to gather myself together and it takes a lot for me because I burn so much energy and getting upset to where I don't burn so much energy. It's like, for me, it's like the day over with, it's ruined. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm learning a little bit better how to put, pick up the pieces of the puzzle and put it back together. Mm -hmm. So it's something I, I'm definitely working towards. Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna act like I'm a master at it and I have a PhD in it. Uh, but per se, I will say that, um, the main thing you can always do, first and foremost, I learn to breathe mm -hmm. and calm down, reset myself and be like, woo-sa. Yeah. As I gather myself and breathe, and then I be like, then it's like I put everything in front of me, you know, and do like, calm down. Yeah. Now do everything one by one. Yes, move this, okay, there you go. Now move that. So it's kind of like learning patience and breathing and taking time to make sure you get it done, you know. So and when you get disarrayed or something like bro said, you just got to breathe first and foremost. Because that once you breathe, it helps you think straight. Yes. Uh, also to my people, a healthy thing I used to do that I didn't realize I did till I got older, mm -hmm. I would lay on my, my grandmother's bed and put my legs up on the wall. When I was younger, and I used to always do it, not realizing that that's a perfect health benefit mm -hmm. also, because it helps the blood on your feet and leg levels. Yeah, because it's just sitting blood down here. If you're not working out at cycling or jogging every day to get your blood flowing, yeah. then we have blood that's just sitting that needs to be, uh, you know, it's kind of like we filtering your system out every day. Mm -hmm. So certain little exercises, if you can't get out into nature every day, breathing exercises, working your hands out, your joints out, you know, stretching, and some of these things you can do right from your chair, right from your bed if you're older mm -hmm. to younger, but these things are definitely something that I've learned kind of helps me calm down enough to where I can start, you know, um, putting things into place, you know, instead of being distraught all day and not being productive, you know, procrastinating, mm -hmm. so yeah. And I like that. Like he was saying, so we're saying about breathing. That that's a big one too, and that's where I feel like uh, meditation comes in. You know, meditation is simply just a practice. What do you do in meditation? You simply breathe. You sit still and breathe. That's meditation. Sit still and breathe, and uh, focus on your breath. And since you know when you're focusing on your breath, um, breathing is present. It's always there, right? So when you're meditating and you're sitting still and you're focusing on your breath, that trains your mind to focus on what's present. You'll find sometimes when you're meditating, this is something I'm talking about this because it's something that I try to make a routine of and it's something that I'm trying to master too. Um, when you're breathing and you focus your breath or you focus your mind on your breath, you train your mind to focus on what's present 
and sometimes when you meditate your brain tends to run off and you start thinking about you know thoughts start running across your mind and you tend to like grasp on those thoughts and try to follow up on them but then you got to remind yourself you're meditating and bring your focus back on your breath which is the present so um and that happened when that helps you when you're procrastinating let's say and you know you need to do you need get, you need to get something done it brings your mind it brings your mind back to what's you know what's important back to something that you need to focus on so when you procrastinating you know get up what you need to do you need to wash the dishes just get up and let's say go turn on the tap mm -hmm. the water that's some you just got to get up and move that's how you fight procrastination you just can't sit still I know you sit, but I, I've had days where I've sat on the couch all day, like not moving. You, know? yeah. you simply just gotta move, man. Yeah. Just gotta move, yeah. breathe, like you say. That 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 calms you down. That that bring that focuses you more, and you know, yeah. yeah. You put it in order. Put right? everything in order, man. Yeah. Just. You get in momentum, man. You gotta, it's, a, it's a regimen overall. Yeah. It's just like the meditation. The meditation is a regimen that helps you learn focus. Yeah. The focus helps you learn to grasp your ideas. Yeah. Grasping them ideas learn you, teach you how to brainstorm and put things into a formula in order to be able to be productive. Exactly. And that is the main key, and key component to success and productivity. Because in order to make money, you got to be able to produce. Yeah. And all these things fall hand in hand. They go hand in hand, as they would say. So once you learn how to do these things, like mm -hmm. I say, from the breathing to grasping your thoughts, it allows you the opportunity to start controlling your narrative. And once you start controlling your narrative, your destination, you become the beholder of your own destination. So where you end up, that's on you. And that all has to do with what you're producing and what you're giving out. Mm -hmm. So if you ain't putting shit into the world, like Mike Jones used to say, if you don't grind, you don't shine. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So how can you expect to get something off the ground if you're not even running with the wind trying to fly the kite? Mm -hmm. You got to pick up that string, run with that kite, and hey, hope that the wind pick it up. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and don't let failure or uh, no answer be the end all be all for you. It's gonna be, you might get turned down 20, 30, 100 times. A lot of millionaires and billionaires of today got turned down many times, told that the ideas was dumb, all kind of things. Don't let that beat you down mentally to where you just quit. Because then once you quit, you just talk yourself out of your championship. And then it's hard to come back from that. Now you need therapy. Now you need people to, oh, no. Mm. You have to be your own narrator. So that's why it starts with the mental. And the mental starts with aligning the chakras, the bloodstream, the oxygen, the breathing. All these things go hand in hand. And that's what help one, you know, find themselves, ground themselves, and complete themselves in, in due time, eternal due time. Straight up. So we're talking about that. Quit, man. Don't quit. Don't stop. Just don't stop. Cause uh, I have this analogy, man. You know, when you're doing something and you stop, it takes a lot more energy for you to get back into it. Let's say you're procru doing, you're being productive, and you started procrastinating for a whole week. It takes so much energy for you to start, you know, being productive or to just get up and keep running, right? So it's just like a car, bro. It takes it takes some gas for you to start a car, right? But once you're like doing 70, 80 miles per hour, you can take your foot off the gas and the car's gonna keep moving, right? And just just don't stop. That's simply what I'm trying to say, man, because it's gonna take it's gonna take a lot of your energy for you to, you know, get back to the position that you were started at before. Okay, so once um, you pick up that momentum. Once you pick up that momentum, you gotta keep running with it. Keep running. Like, with like it. if I would have stopped, because you know how many people try to talk me out of the things I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Like, I remember people, family and I, you know, even the person who raised me, my grandmother, she, I'm not saying per se she was against me doing rap music, but she wasn't a fan of rap music. She uh -huh. wasn't a fan of, you know, because she was a Christian woman, as they would say. Yeah. Um, but I never stopped believing in myself. I mean, it. I'm not going to lie, it bruised my ego. For and sure. as a man, I can admit that in many ways, but I never stopped. I did a lot of shows. 
I was on the underground circuit of Dallas for a long time. You know, I got a lot of notoriety and I'm the guy I am today because I never stopped believing in me, even mm -hmm. though I didn't have the support. I never really, truly, honestly ever had support. I'm going to be real. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people ride your wave because they see others fucking with you. Yeah. But overall, it's never been just a genuine support. Like, oh, I see I see my bro or my partner doing this. I'm going to push his, help him push what he's doing, his movement. How can I help? Mm -hmm. I've always been one to jump in and try to help any and everybody around me, manage their careers or brand, whatever it was you try to get out the ground. Mm -hmm. If I'm around you, how can I assist you? But for me, I've never had that favor in return. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know, but overall, I'm not fucked up. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but I just wish more, it was more like things put into place for people like us who are artists a support system like that because those are the things we need in order to keep pushing through for the momentum to keep going. But it's hard being somebody who has to believe in themselves. So I get it. It's a tough fight. It, you got to have faith. You got to walk with faith. You got to talk to the higher power, the ancestors, and ask them to guide you, protect you. It's going to be a dark, lonely journey. And honestly, I'm going to be real. That's true. It's going to be that way because for anybody who follows the beat of their own drum, a lot of people aren't going to, they're going to move away from them mm -hmm. because they see you as, oh, you're a tyrant, you're yeah. a rebellious, you're, outcast, you're an outcast, yeah. you're not over here with us doing what we feel that mm -hmm. is fit or what they say is fit. So it, it comes with the territory of being mm -hmm. great. And that's why the people who become the greats, they don't. They do it unapologetically once mm -hmm. they make it there because when they look back at it, they knew what it took to get there. Yeah. They remember them days they cried. They remember them days they only ate ramen noodles. They remember when nobody supported them. They remember when they went broke behind their ideals. So when people finally see them and they think that they're this nuisance or these mean people, they're not. They just have been beaten down and they have a bruised ego mm -hmm. to where they don't know what that is anymore because you weren't with me shooting in the gym, shooting these jump shots like Drake said. So that's something that's big for people like us because we more become isolated. Mm -hmm. And that's where we find meditation that is in isolation. So in the midst of all this, it's a spiritual journey as well. It's a spiritual journey. It's, it's awakening. Way, right? It's an awakening. So mm -hmm. it's, a dope, it's a dope mission. But it, it's not for the faint at heart and it's not for the weak. I'm going to stay there right friends. up. It's for warriors, and you better believe it ain't about the size of the dog. Mm -hmm. It's about the, it ain't about the size of the dog, but it's about the dog size is. of the fight in the dog. You yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah. as long as you're down again. the road, Say that again. it's not about the size of the dog. It's about the size of the fight in the dog. Yeah. So, as long as you're ready to rumble in the jungle mm -hmm. and show them your muscles and your godliness, whether yeah. you're a goddess or a god, yeah. then anything can be manifested. Anything can be brought to life. Anything can be brought to life. You just got to be productive. Don't let your momentum stop. Don't let others deteriorate your ideal of success, your theory of what it is, and your mission that you're on. Because let's be real, a lot of these people who try to talk you down off the limb, they don't got a goddamn thing even they don't, they don't understand even what you're trying to pursue, man. So sometimes you just got to be, you know, by yourself, for many artists, bro, many intelligent people, and this is a fact, many artists, many producers, they like to be alone, cause you know, not a lot of people out there try to understand, you know, your vision, or like even when you try to speak on it, people, a lot of people try to shut it down, or like try to blow your shine out, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, that's why a lot of artists try to, you know, be by themselves, and you know, we learn to be by ourselves. Like, personally for me, man, I enjoy my loneliness, man. I enjoy my time by myself. Yeah. You learn to enjoy that time, because... It helps you find you. Find, it helps you find it you, and you, you, got to, you just got to do yeah. it anyways. Yeah. You know, because you cannot be bored by yourself if you want to be yeah. an artist, bro. Because you're going to be spending hours on end painting. Yeah. You can't be bored being by yourself. You gotta learn how to love being by yourself. Yeah, love, love you yourself. Got, you that's the main key. That's uh, that's the main key. To what B said. It's a part mm -hmm. of loving yourself. Learning to love the small things of life. Loving to appreciate to. your isolation and your and your intuition yeah. speaking to you. Like if you go to B's channel, 
how he set the camera up and do his self paintings mm -hmm. by himself, jamming his music in his own element. Mm -hmm. Then he take it from there, have a little mukbang in between with you. Mm -hmm. Then take it back to the painting. Yes, sir. That's that. That's him being himself. That's me being awesome. My own ideas. And there's nothing better than being your true self. Right. Because that's what makes you an artist, being your true self. And talking about being your true self, man, if you haven't watched the previous episode, we're talking about being original. Go watch that too. Originals versus carbon copy. Original copies. versus carbon copy. Yeah. So but. everything, once again, is supplement. It's an yeah. element of divineness. Yes. It helps you reach your higher self, your higher purpose. And in all actuality, it helps you become a better person overall. So, yeah, B, let them know. Son, man, like we said, man, the main purpose to this <laughs> podcast that we're having here, man, is to, you know, uplift our audience, our family, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, show you guys how to be, you know, better selves and... You know, just bring you up and, you know, shit. We don't have all the answers. We don't have all and, the and answers. You don't have to agree with everything we're saying. Yeah. I'm going to always try to drop a disclaimer. And if I forget to, just know you heard it in this video. Yeah. You heard it in the previous video. Mm -hmm. But what we are doing is building dialogue. We're building a conversation piece that we can actually branch off of. Yeah. And it can grow roots. Because it's something, what we're saying has supplements to it. It has substance to it. It can feed the village, it can sow a seed that can sprout into the masses of the majority of the newcomers of the next generation, you yes, know? Sir. And when we're talking to you guys, we're also talking to ourselves, man. Most definitely. So, um, yeah, man, this is all, this is basically what we wanted to talk about. Productivity versus procrastination. And uh, we just hope you guys learned, took something from this. I hope you guys learned something from this, man. And uh, yeah, man. Hey. Next episode, hey, with my little bro B. Yes, sir. And hey, we appreciate everybody that's been tuning in. Hey, just organically, the previous episode. Um, no, it's not even the previous. The previous one pushing close to 100 already. Yeah. Last I checked, it was at about 60. Yeah. The other one is at 100, basically. Yeah. I mean, these are organic numbers. You know, B has a nice following on his channel. Uh, I'm getting my channel back to go. When I got about 17, almost 20 views on that so. one. And you know, but it's all organic. I'm not asking for subscribers. We're not begging, but we appreciate everybody who has been supporting it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's pure fuckery, but it's all about, you know, cleaning up our bullshit. Yes, and that's uh, the reason why we call it that, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And with that being said, man, we appreciate y'all tuning in to another episode of Pure Fuckery. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. It's been in. your boy, Sire Scrooge, aka Earl Dubs, you with asshole. <laughs> and this your boy, all around Brian M. Brian Mongari. Hey. As always, don't forget, man, sip your water, stay hydrated, stay healthy. And yeah. like, share, subscribe, comment, interact. There you go. Appreciate it. Hey, man, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this video. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Boo. Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> hey, we love y'all, man.